All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Yet another Resident Evil tutorial for the Steam Deck. This time, I've managed to get Seamless HD running perfectly on the deck. If you follow this guide step by step, you should have it up and running in less than 15 minutes. Let's do this. Okay, so let's start the tutorial. And basically what we're going to do first is we're going to build our Resident Evil 2 seamless HD build on our Windows PC. We're going to get it ready and then transfer it to our Steam Deck and continue the tutorial from there. So the very, very first thing we want to do is we want to go to the Classic Rebirth website. And first of all, we're going to go and download the Classic Rebirth DLL. Secondly, what we need is the official 1.1.0 patch by Source Next. So go ahead and download that as well. The next thing you want to do is you want to go over to ModDB and search Resident Evil 2 Seamless HD Project version 2.0. Go ahead and download that. And then lastly, what we need is Resident Evil 2 HD mod and go ahead and download that as well. And lastly, we're going to use a utility to transfer this from our Windows PC to our Steam Deck. Now, in theory, you could do this by building your Resident Evil 2 installation on an SD card and transfer it physically that way. But in this tutorial, I'm going to do it over the network. So go ahead and search WinPenator and go to the download section and download the 64-bit or 32-bit installer, whichever you prefer. I got the 64-bit installer. Okay, so when you have all of those downloaded, I've, what I've done here is I've created a new folder on my desktop called RE2 files. And in that I have one, two, three, four, five, and also six. So you're going to need a copy of biohazard 2 sourcenext.iso so basically the source next version of resident evil 2 if you search this iso google is your friend it will find it for you i'm not going to tell you where to get it directly so basically now we have six files in this folder the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build our installation so what we want to do here we want to first mount the iso so we're going to go right click and mount and hit open and in this, you will see this directory and these files and this structure. Now, what we actually need is we only need the data directory. So right click this and copy it. And I'm going to paste this onto the desktop beside our RE2 files. So let that copy. Now, once it's copied, we're going to rename it and I'm going to call it RE2 HD and open up that. All we do is open up a second window with our RE2 files and line them up side by side. And the next thing what we want to do is we want to go to the bio 1.1.0 patch. And I'm going to extract that. So you can use WinRare, WinZip or your any favorite zip utility that you want. You can even use the Windows one. I'm going to go extract here and then I'm going to cut this bio 2.1.1.0.exe in here. I'm going to delete the one in here. We don't need the original one. We don't need bio two. We just need this one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the classic rebirth DLL, which is what we need next. Again, extracting it here. Take the ddraw.dll, cut and paste into this RE2HD folder. The next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go to Resident Evil 2 HD mod. And just to make this easier, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go extract files and I'm going to go directly find my RE2 HD directory and hit OK. And it's going to paste all those HD mod files into our newly created directory. You can go yes to all, so make sure you overwrite everything. Now we're going to run an initial test before we continue. So double click bio2.1.0 and you'll see no any configuration was detected. You can hit OK. The settings we need here are RGB888, OK? We need to go 1280 by 960 uh, and you can set the best settings. Importantly here is we need to do not select legacy frame rate. This needs to be unchecked. So these are the settings. You can hit the best settings and they will work also. Uh, but you can disable or enable some of these gameplay features if you wish. Hit OK and the mod That's should load. Now close out of the mod straight away. We're not going to do anything with that yet. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to RE2 SHDP 2.0. We're going to right click and we're going to extract files. And again, we're going to search our RE2 HD and go and overwrite everything in that directory. And if it gives you a prompt, confirm, replace all. And once we have that done, we basically have prepared directory to transfer now to our Steam Deck. 
it should be file size of approximately 2.11 gigabytes. So what we want to do is now we want to transfer it over to our Steam Deck. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to install the program called Winpinator. So in order to install Winpinator, we're going to double click. Yes. OK, next. I agree. I'm going to put this on my desktop. OK, and it will create a default folder called Winpinator. Next, next, install and go next again. And if you want to uncheck show release notes, but we do want to actually run it. So hit run Winpinator. And you can see it already sees my Steam Deck user historically. But if you've installed this fresh, go to File, Preferences. Go to Connection tab and make sure the group, group code says 1234. And you can leave this program running. So every time you hit OK and you update the group code, it'll start searching for your Steam Deck again. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to our Steam Deck. So I've swapped over to our Steam Deck. And just to explain, I've connected my Steam Deck to a laptop dock and it's connected to my capture card and I have a keyboard and mouse connected. It's just for the ease of installation. And what I'm going to do is we want to go to desktop mode. So go down to the Steam menu. We're going to go to power. We're going to switch to desktop. And once you're in desktop mode, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Discover Center. So bottom left hand corner, left click the Discover Center. And we're going to search a program called Warpin. So Warpinator, basically. Go ahead and install that. It'll download it. And once it's installed, left click it and then hit launch. And what we're going to do is hit the three hyphen keys here, go to preferences, connection, and again, making sure your group code is one, two, three, four, and leave it searching. We'll quickly swap back over to our PC. And eventually it'll find it. You'll see it here so you can see Steam Deck user. So you can click that and hit next. And what we want to do is we want to send a folder. So hit send folder, go to your desktop, select our newly created RE2 HD folder, select folder, and go back then to your Steam Deck again. And over on our Steam Deck, you will now see the PC is also listed. So click this as well. And you will see a prompt that says waiting for approval. So it's trying to send me files. Green tick this and it's going to download our newly created RE2 HD folder. So let that complete. So once that is complete, you can actually close out of Warpinator. You can close out of the Discover Center and open up a normal session of Steam. Don't go to gaming mode, just open up a normal one. And also what we're going to do is, as that's opening, scroll down and go to Dolphin File Manager, bottom left here. You're going to go to Home. And in Home, you will see a newly created folder if you've just installed Warpinator called Warpinator. So Home Warpinator. And now you will see the, the RE2 HD directory. I'm going to cut this and paste it onto our desktop here. So our Steam OS desktop. Let's put it in the center here and go back then to your Steam session. Go to games, add non Steam games library. We're going to go browse. Going to go back to our desktop RE2 HD and select the Bio2 1.10 EXE. Hit add selected programs. And what I recommend you do then is you go to games, view games library and go to your installed locally library. Scroll down and you will find bio2.1.10.exe. Okay, a couple of things I'm going to do here. Right click properties. I'm going to rename this. So we're going to call it RE2 Seamless HD 2.0. In the launch options, incredibly important. There is a command line you need to insert here. I'm going to copy it from a text file I had earlier. Prepared. Paste it. So this complete command needs to be paste it in here. I will share it in the description and I will pin it in a post. I'll open it up here as well, just for everybody on the watching the video. This full command line here, let's enlarge the font somewhat. Very, very important. Copy this entire command into the launch options. So in essence, your shortcuts should say if you renamed it, you're pointing to your bio2 1.10 exe and your launch command is indicated here. Next, click the compatibility tool. Go to force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool. I, I got this working using the latest version of Proton. You can use Proton Experimental if you wish, or even 7.0 works. Uh, in this video, I'm using GE Proton 832, but Proton Experimental works as well. So I'll select this one, and this is the one that probably everyone will have on their Steam Deck by default. Hit X, and what we're going to do is we're going to now test it. So hit play. And if you follow this guide to a T up until this point, it should launch. And there we go. The configuration page has launched. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to change the resolution. 
I'm going to go to 1280 by 960 just for the purpose of this video. Make sure your X input is set to X input. You can change, you can add vibration if you wish, but um, I'm just going to leave it to none. And ensuring again, legacy frame rate is not checked. This is very, very important. The seamless HD will not work if this is checked. And these are gameplay features. It's up to you whether you want to enable them or disable them. I, I like the feature quick turn that's come from Resident Evil 3. Hit OK. And there we go, folks. Let's just do a quick little test for everybody. We're going to go to original mode normal. Uh, the PC version also has hard mode and you can unlock it when you beat the game on normal. Uh, let's just skip through this and we get straight into some quick gameplay. And as you can see, in this HD running perfectly. Again, this will run perfectly in game mode. You can set it to full screen. It's the way I play it. As I said, running seamlessly, no pun intended, on the Steam Deck. Let's take out these zombies and grab the shotgun as well, just for the purpose of a test. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! This guy's gonna get it. <sighs> Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Okay, let's uh, get the zombies to attack here. <clears throat> Grab some ammo. Grab some ammo here. Here they come. Come on, let's go. I forgot what aim was there, really. Here, let's pop these dudes. I should reload. Oh, you fucker. Okay, just gonna grab the shotgun real quick. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna leave that dude, whatever. Great thing about this as well, if you're a speedrunner, you can skip the doors because of classic rebirth. Let's use some shotgun for the laugh here. Let's grab the ammo. Whoa. Oh, get your head, boom. And you. And you. Nice. You could have easily just ran around in there, but just for the sake of the video. So yeah, it's some stellar work gone into the seamless HD project as long as the alongside the HD project as well. And the best way to play the original game, in my opinion. And there's some fantastic mods alongside this that you could use. Again on mod DB. One of stuff you can get. Let's get these guys. Dodge the zombies. One of my the most iconic scenes in Resident Evil 2 just up here. This guy getting chewed out and then you go into the bus. This part always gets me. It's the chick crawling along the floor in the bus. And then there's another dude there. It's just the camera angle is just perfect there. I'm just gonna leg it past them. Nice, oh, oh, dodgy. Probably 
he's usually going through here, yeah. Get off me. And here we go, we're at the police station. Well, anyway, guys, that's just a little showcase of the game after the tutorial. If you're new to the channel, please consider supporting my work by liking, subscribing, and also drop a comment down below if this helped you out. Let me know if you're stuck or you've missed any points. I can try my best to help you out. And um, yeah, I put a lot of effort into these videos. Hopefully, folks appreciate the work. And um, I will talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching.